Hey, Rick from Papa Bear Racing here, and today we're going to take a look at the Tecton Nut Drivers. Are they worth it? Stick around! Okay, first, let me say I'm not sponsored by Tecton. Wish I was. Not sponsored by Harley Davidson, just my wardrobe. Anyhow, let's take a look at this. So, I went ahead and I ordered a set of seven, um... Nut drivers from Tecton. They're in the closeout. And I think I paid 25 bucks for seven of them. Okay, the set is a seven piece set. It starts out with five, goes to five and a half, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 millimeter. Okay, so let's compare them, the new Tecton to my old nut drivers. First, let's start with the Exolite. These have, like I said, always been the, the go-to, at least in the electronics industry. Exolite has always been like the snap-on of nut drivers. Now, if we look at the back, no way of identifying the, the size of the tool. On the end up here, no way of identifying the tool. You're limited to this one little side of the tool here that has the size on it. The handle feels like those cheap screwdrivers you throw in your car and you don't care if they get broken. Let's compare them to the Craftsman brand. Now the Craftsman ones are ones that I bought probably in high school. Again, there's no markings on the back, no markings on the business end, but if you look really close, here's the Craftsman logo and the next one over has the size. The bad thing is, the first time you rub it with your greasy hands or with carburetor cleaner or something, the sizing comes off. The Tecton identifies right here. Where is that? Right there is to the size. On the other business end, it has the size. Doesn't have it on the handle, but it does have it in two places that are not going to wear down. So. I think I would have to give it to Tecton. Let's take a look at the handle comfort. This, it's like the cheap screwdrivers you buy at the gas station or at the auto parts store. I mean, they're not gonna probably break, but they're not gonna be real comfortable if you're putting together a PC all day. The Craftsman ones, the handle's a little bit better, but it's very small in my big old bear paw. The Tecton, much more comfortable. So overall, should you buy the Tecton nut drivers? Yes. If you're looking for a good quality nut driver, I don't think these can be beat. I think I paid 29 bucks for all seven of them. And you get the 10% back if you buy them online from Tecton themselves. They go ahead and they take 10% uh, of your purchase, and then you can apply it to your next purchase. So they keep you coming back. Anyhow, that's it for today. Questions and comments about what your favorite nut drivers are. I've never used the Snap-on, so if someone in the audience can go ahead and leave some comments below and tell me about the Snap-on or the Matco, I'd really appreciate it. Till then, have a great day.